Okay, a real quick update on the system. Uh, harvested the mustard, one of them came back and bolted straight to go into seed. You can see how tall the stalk is there. All this needs to be really, really weeded. I've got some blackberries in there that uh, I was rooting in the system. I pulled them out of the system and stuck them in the ground a couple months ago when I was reworking the system, trying to get rid of the gnat larva, and they've flourished in the ground. They've all leafed out now, uh, and they're progressing nicely. This one kale that was in the ground is going like gangbusters. I probably need to start harvesting it before it goes to seed. Uh, all of the potatoes that were in the buckets, despite my wife using this one as a weed bucket, the potatoes coming back. The collards that she harvested are coming back. This is what happens if you leave the stalks in the ground and they've got enough root mass. They start reproducing uh, leaves again. You can actually let them go on up, get bigger, and harvest them, those as well. Uh, this row's got nothing in it right now, just weeds. Uh, these two rows were the carrots I planted a few weeks ago. Those are the leeks that I need to bury a little bit more. As you can see, the red, white, and green onions are doing just great over there. And those are my uh, jugs I use when I collect the effluent from the radio flow filter over there, which is going to be done today as well. Um, on the aquaponics end of things, as you can see, that butternut squash has taken over its bed. It's hanging off the front. It's hanging off the back. It's climbing into the empty bed here, which is fine. It's empty. I've got to get some uh, stuff in there. I'm probably going to put some more peppers. I've got the Tabasco pepper over in the corner that's getting buried, but you can see how nicely it's leafed out now. Um, we need to neem oil this stuff, too. I'm afraid... A lot of insects are coming back, and I'm afraid if we don't get something on it preemptively, uh, I'll wind up with problems again. The cucumbers died in the real bad freeze we had when we had all the sleet and everything. Uh, this one came back. As you can see, I've got a couple of cucumbers going on it. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that it's doing as well as it has. So, I mean, the butternut climbed, so I was trying to get it to climb to the fence. It actually climbed around and over. And it's well into the bed with the kohlrabi over here. Uh, one of the kohlrabi is kind of buried. I don't know what happened to it, uh, whether something got to it or what. But I had to break most of the leaves off. And it looks like it's trying to come back. I'm not sure, though, if it'll make it. Uh, the rest of the kohlrabi are doing great. And the tomatoes have taken off. As you can see, that's taller than I am. The height of the beds, I believe, is 30 inches. Um... So two and a half feet. I'm 5'10". So that's well over six feet high. So about 42 inches, three and a half feet these tomatoes have gotten to. And they've totally spread out over that entire bed there. I mean, that's a three and a half by four bed. And they've completely filled it in. Uh, some of them are going outside the vines here, or the wires, because I wasn't paying enough attention. So I'm going to have to tie them back to the wires. This one I'm not really worried so much about tying back, but I probably will just to get it off that wet, damp side. Uh, I need to get around back and tie some of that back. So the aquaponics is going like gangbusters. I need to plant some stuff in this empty bed. I was going to put some uh, bell peppers or some banana peppers up here. I made up my mind. Um, don't really want to plant them close, but I like sweet banana peppers, so it wouldn't... Uh, cross-pollinization I might get some weird shapes but it wouldn't affect the flavor as much uh, this kohlrabi was in the tube system I took it out and put it in here today because I'm working on the tube system I've got some cabbage in here uh, a couple of red cabbage and a few green cabbage that one's not doing much anytime I plant them close to the water inlet they don't do very well so maybe they just don't like the water inlet I don't know uh, the cabbage that I pulled up out of the ground and put in here is doing pretty good. It's starting to make a comeback. This one's looking nice. That one's doing really well. Uh, the six broccoli I put in here a couple weeks ago that were just barely seedlings and almost dead because of the neglect they'd received while I was in the hospital, not being cared for at all. Uh, they're doing really good. I'm surprised. The strawberries are going like gangbusters. You can see all the blooms and stuff on them. I took them out of the tube system a little while ago. 
um, so I could work on it. I got a guy coming to get a hundred fingerlings tomorrow. So uh, I've got oh one of the butternut came back after it was harvested. I was surprised at that. Or we didn't harvest that one. I think it was just really slow to start and it just took off. I can't remember. The one Swiss chard that something had been eaten on the backside is uh, still struggling. Uh, the ruby red, but it is trying. So I'm going to put it back in the system. Let me move this over here real quick. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, the tube system obviously a success. The only issue is what I'm about to encounter with it. So that's pretty much what's happening in the greenhouse. And there's the rabbit down there. You see him looking. And he's like, I want in. I know you got carrots. Let me in there. He eats the onions too, trust me. And my brother-in-law has been picking the chard that's uh, in the raised bed outside and giving it to him. Uh, because it finally started doing something once the cold, colder weather abated. I was hoping we wouldn't have as uh, severe of a winter as we did. Although it wasn't that severe, but we did have several periods when it was pretty bad. So... Uh, for our area and nothing compared to what people go through up north but uh so it kind of hampered the growing season the rutabagas are doing good the other stuff i've got planted in that side bed is doing okay uh, a couple of the cabbage are starting to do really well forming heads uh, we harvested the collards already and the spinach never really did anything i might transplant some of it in here to the channel system